Hi my friends, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, for like almost over a year that because it's something that I discovered when I was studying different like uh, apparitions of fire, uh, explosions and crazy things about uh, when energy is released through explosive means. Now what this is is that I don't understand all the details, I'm still trying to figure this out because now what, what, it, what I'm getting at is that if you see um, explosions and stuff like fire like uh, like for example the 9 and one when the, the explosions occurred off those towers you could literally see demons coming out of the fire and the smoke right you could you could literally see it these formations a lot of people have talked about that you can, you can do some YouTubes on that look at some photographs of that right but also the, the thing is I noticed that as well that when uh, I saw this in, in, in like flames and stuff and explosions uh, different explosions. see like this uh, kind of evil looking or sometimes demons or some kind of thing in the smoke or just even the flames itself in the fire okay so and I don't know all the detail of this now I'm heading somewhere with this is that it seems like this matter you know everything's solid and cold and ice because matter is actually just uh, and I, I don't know all the details I'm not the best at uh, physics and stuff like that but uh, so you gonna have to this is my understanding is that matter is a slowed down vibrate uh, frequency or vibration you know it's slowed down of energy okay because you know they said if you break down atoms to its uh, ultimate uh, its ultimate stuff you know atoms to you go all the way down it's just energy right but uh, you know so but anyway so I didn't mean to go on that about the atoms but what the thing is that we discovered that well, I think what it's, it's that even Tesla talked about this that the world's made of energy frequency and vibrations so that's energy frequency and vibrations of energy, okay? You know, uh, you know. So, uh, so, so there again, uh, energy is um, frequency vibration. So, okay. So what I'm getting at is, so matter like this window that I have, I mean, you can't see it because my video, my window my of my suburban here, that the window is just energy slowed down and comprised in a certain state. It's a certain state. You know how like uh, we have states of solid, liquid, and gas. Well, if you break down, there's another state of that. This energy, oh my goodness, another call. That's from Angel in uh, Colorado. So, <laughs> anyway, she's a great lady. Uh, so, anyway, you know, she's all with the Father, Lord, and stuff. She's just a great lady. But, hey, anyway, I'll call her back. But, um, so here's the thing is so if, if energy slowed down in, in a slower state, right, then, you know, there's a lot of energy and it's still in the energy form, right? So, if it's in a higher state, a faster state, then we have like you know it's excited and, and that's what basically what heat is you know heat and hot and cold hot and cold is uh, uh heat is you know the molecules are spinning around high vibration higher frequency you know they're they're bouncing around and that's why you have you know heat that's why uh, uh, water becomes the liquid and water becomes hot uh because it's actually it's just a it's a higher frequency and it's vibration and stuff and then also you know like ice is that it's slowed down it's been slowed down right and that's where they talk about getting things down to zero Kelvin, where the, the molecules become more so slowed down, they, they become uh, compact and stuff like this, right? Boy, so I'm heading to some of this in a spiritual sense, but I'm trying to make a guess in this. So what is happening here? So if you have an explosion, does that open up a gateway to, to demons, you know, forces, or that energy being released, right? Or is it uh, that... that uh, Evilness or demons were trapped, frozen, into this world, um, and are part of uh, the the matter here. Now I'm not going to go down, but you can go really deep in this because the reason you go deep is that that uh, you know Mudfoss University, his channel, he I don't know how he comes with this theory, but he said, you know, the whole world is nothing but uh, dead flesh and stuff from the war in the heavens, and also. You know, this is like the garbage place. This is actually the uh, the pile of uh, of all that all of that evil and stuff. And hey, they got kicked out. You know, the fallen angels, uh, the giants. He said that's where finding legs of giants. He's finding stuff that are huge, huge things. You know, like legs of the size of uh, uh, let's see, I don't know, uh, a huge pine tree, right? And we found skulls big. We know that the uh, Nephilim or whatever the large giants walked the earth. We know this. And so I have all this whole world. He said, you know, sand is nothing but, you know, uh, or mud is nothing but, uh, you know, and it sounds kind of gross, but 
dead uh, flesh from uh, the past, you know. So now that's kind of shocking when you think about that for a minute. Make sure I'm still recording here. I hope I didn't lose my recording. Yes, we're still recording. Sorry about that. Need to make sure we're still recording. I don't know. It, my screen went down. So, anyway, so I want because one time I had to stop recording. Well, anyway, so um, so think about that for a moment. Where you have all that, let's see, all that that garbage. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, that was a different one. Shoot. Oh, I went to YouTube. Sorry, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Because I had to do something here about this. But anyway. Um, so here's the thing is. I don't know. I'm kind of throwing this out there, but I don't know. And I haven't told by anything. Nothing scripture. Nothing like that. That when we have something negative, you know, like, you know, a bomb going off or a gun or some kind of explosion or fire, that we're... Um, where that, that's what we're having is release of the demon and energetic forces of this, right? So, and so you think about that from it. So, was it trapped in that matter? Were they frozen for their naughtiness, or is it some kind of dimension that lets them escape through it or use that energy? You know, maybe they're in some other dimension or spiritual world where they can actually use that energy releasing to actually uh, present themselves uh, temporarily. Okay, so what, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this. So you get your thoughts and put comments on this because I don't know. It's just something I'm kind of exploring. But here's the thing. is, So what I got here is um, this is actually during the first test of the uh, nuclear bomb, which really changed the world. It really did, you know, because then all of a sudden it created more fear. It created the Cold War. It created more all of these things, more, you know, you know, more reasons to defend a lot of uh, money on expenditures of defense, uh, all these things, it just, you know, we know this, right? It was a massive change in the real that we had, something we had to swallow forever because I can't remember when, if it, uh, when the guys, the original uh, guys working on this, when the scientists said, oh my God, he said, this is horrible. He said, you know, this is one of the worst things that we could have ever discovered. But, uh, you know, I mean, it really did change the stuff. So, but anyway, so I'm going to play this and I'm going to let you show and I'm going to try to stop it where I saw some things. And hopefully we can, and it's in slow motion, it's going to sound kind of weird. Now that I can see some stuff in there, but I'm moving forward a little bit more because I want to see where it has the colored photo where I can see some things. Okay, let's see here if we got anything. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to get my little, I can use this. I don't see anything off bat right yet, but uh, something may be here, but I'll show you here in a second uh, of more of what we're seeing happen here. Here in a minute, we've seen an implosion. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I, I just can't. It's kind of painful. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I apologize if you watch this. So maybe you can see some things here. I don't see. It looks like maybe something right there forming. Um, but it's, there's something about it. It's like here's a head and two eyes. Here's uh, here's some eyes and maybe a hat. I don't know. I mean, maybe just making stuff up. But uh, but here in a minute when this comes up, it's like just mind-boggling. Okay. Now, earlier in this video, they're showing some uh, cloud formations. I did see some things in the spirits in the clouds, but not here. And it's just general filming. Okay. Now, in this part right here... I really can't see it, but here in a minute, when they actually do another explosion, we will see we'll, we'll see a um, a massive. You know, there's the thing. There's always debate whether this was a real explosion or not. You know, if it was just a model and it was just the size of a firecracker. Well, looking at, at this video replay, um, here in a second when it explodes, 
it had to have been a real explosion. So, darn it. Darn it. No, I'm sorry, my friend. Wait, where is it? Let me see. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to... I'm sorry. Time to pause and put it back here, so...